Vincent Downs, you stole something from me. Bring it back or your son's not coming home. Thank you for joining us for another Movie Lingo discussion. I'm Eddie Lingo and today I'm going to be talking about Sleepless. Uh, now normally I would uh, warn you that this is going to be a spoiler filled review but to be honest I don't have as much to say about this film. Uh, so this should be a spoiler free review. Please continue to watch and make sure you join uh, the comments at the end let me know if you share the same opinion um, or if you plan on taking this review to go watch a movie if it was helpful or whatnot. All right. So again, we're speaking about Sleepless, uh, starring Jamie Foxx and Michelle Monaghan, amongst others, a pretty decent cast. Uh, the story basically deals with uh, Jamie Foxx's character is a Las Vegas police officer who has connections to the criminal world. Uh, some of his decisions put him on the wrong side with the powerful man who's trying to buy his way into the drug trafficking game with an even more powerful family. Uh, in order for them to feel like the rectify Jamie Foxx's decision, they kidnap his son, which gives you the whole movie of Jamie Foxx now going against this criminal presence to try and get his son back, while also under investigation from Internal Affairs, which is played by Michelle Monaghan, who has suspected him from the start, and she is always one step behind him. Um, and that pretty much is the movie there in a nutshell without spoiling it for you um he's fighting two battles trying to save his son he's making uh how far would he go to save his son is basically and what 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 criminal acts or decisions will he go forward with in order to do so um now <clears throat> this movie um unfortunately for me how do i feel about it i i, I didn't really care for it uh, i was very disappointed actually when i jamie fox is actually one of the people i root for every time i see him on screen um, and Jamie Foxx, unfortunately, even though he delivered as far as his acting goes, um, the movie itself uh, fell short as far as the, the writing and the execution. Now, fun fact for you in case you didn't know, this film is uh, actually a remake. It's a French film, which I can't pronounce. Excuse me. I can't pronounce um, the true title, but what it translate to, translates to is Sleepless Nights. This film came out and uh, was created in 2011. It was released in May, I believe, 2012. I unfortunately have not seen it. I wanted to see it before I uh, posted this review so I can kind of see what they were trying to do. But this is, uh, this is what we have now. It's uh, the same writers with the new director. Um, and unfortunately, even though it may have been successful in this French film. I didn't feel what, what I was getting here in this version in 2017. Uh, the problem was a lot of the writing. The characters, uh, as usual, what bothers me is they dumb them down. You know, they make them do st stupid things or ignore obvious paths or it's, it's just things that could be avoided. They don't. All in the name of getting that next cool scene or getting the story to go in this direction and that that just bothers me because i feel like as a creator you should just be creative enough to come up with a more realistic reaction or a more thorough character and then find a way to to, to draw up new conflict and i felt like they did a great job at the beginning setting us up to make us believe that jamie fox's character and michelle monaghan's character who is the lead investigator on the internal affairs are these very elite, smart, um, decision-making, gut-check thinkers, you know? And so when you see them doing dumb things or ignoring obvious moments or not really being as thorough, it becomes frustrating. When you see them in hot pursuit <coughs> some, or, or they stop because they want to stop and think about something and they let either people catch up with them or let things get out of hand or whatever, it was a lot of that. And I felt like the only thing this script really focused on was cool moments. Now, the director also, uh, besides the writing, um, should have seen this and tried to, you know, make it work. But I don't know what the relationship was there. But I feel like uh, the director also didn't do a good job with showing us um, a lot of things. I don't really want to spoil it for you. But there's just moments where, you know, the, the police are supposedly doing this thorough check of this, uh, this casino facility. And <clears throat> they don't seem to leave the, the main floor. And this casino has... Thousands of square feet, different floors, you know, um, and they only seem to be on the main floor uh, looking while all this craziness and action is happening, you know, everywhere, penthouse, kitchen, back, club, everywhere, garage, you know, but the police just keep staying on that main floor. And so 
stuff like that it just felt like that nobody here was really thinking and it was very disappointing. It was very frustrating. Um, I wish I could have seen the original French film that translates to Sleepless Nights. Um, hoping it would be better. But now that I know that it had both the same writers, the, both films had the same writers, I'm, I'm, not, as, I'm not as positive. Um, for some reason, January is the dumping ground for um, these films. Last year, we had Triple Nine uh, in the same genre and had a very decent cast, in my opinion, very good cast. Uh, but that was a letdown, and we didn't review it on Movie Lingo. Why? Because it was much like this. It was just, it's just this can't seem to get this this crime drama, uh, thriller, drama right. Um, you know, they they just keep. It seems like all they care about with this writing is the cool moments, and not actually being tying them all together creatively and 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 making a great film. I wish this would have been better because Jamie Foxx is my guy, but <clears throat> unfortunately not. So if you ask me what I'm rating this film, I'm unfortunately, I'm going to have to only give it a 4 out of 10. Uh, when I first walked out of it, I wanted to give it a 5, but the more I thought about it, the more things started to truly, truly bother me. So I couldn't get past it. So I'm giving Sleepless 4 out of 10 movie lingo rating. I want to know if this review was helpful to you. You let me know. Um, I... Don't recommend that you spend money on it, but I also would like to know your opinion. So if that's the only way you can watch the movie, then go watch the movie. But if you want to listen to me, wait until it comes out on demand. It's a little bit cheaper. Watch it at home. Don't, you know, don't put all the effort and time into going out to watch this film. Wait, take your time. Jamie Foxx will have better projects. Hopefully I'll be the one to write it for him. We'll see. All right. So um, let me know in your comments. If you agree, disagree, I don't mind. I love the, the conversation. Okay. And this is another Movie Lingo discussion. I'm Eddie Lingo, and we'll see you on the next one. You touch my son, I'll kill you.